For every actor who reverts back to their usual self the second they hear the word cut, there's another who stays in character for the entire duration of a film's production. Of course, living in character around the clock can lead to some pretty unusual situations, as proven by these hilarious things actors did while in character. Wesley Snipes left post-it notes as Blade. Blade Trinity director David S. Goyer and star Wesley Snipes had an infamous onset battle over Snipes' refusal to take direction as a leather-wearing vampire hunting ninja. The whole thing culminated in an argument that turned physical when Snipes attempted to throttle Goyer with his bare hands. From that point on, Snipes refused to speak to Goyer for the rest of the shoot. According to co-star Patton Oswalt, Snipes communicated solely with the director via post-it notes. As an added bonus, they were allegedly all written in character, each signed from Blade. Leonard Nimoy Grox Spock Because of his high intelligence, the Star Trek character Spock was extraordinarily popular with career academics and scientists, many of whom saw the character as a peer. As a result, Spock actor Leonard Nimoy was often invited to sit in on lectures and even look over theses and research proposals by fans who assumed he had a similar knowledge of the fields of science. To spare the feelings of people who couldn't tell the difference between an actor and a pointy-eared alien from the future, Nimoy would affect Spock's mannerisms and tell people, well, it certainly looks like you're headed in the right direction, regardless of whether he actually understood anything they'd said. Fascinating. Robert Downey Jr., Method Man in Tropic Thunder, Robert Downey Jr.'s Kirk Lazarus is supposedly one of the world's most gifted method actors, and so committed to his craft that he undergoes surgery to change the pigmentation of his skin in order to appear black while portraying his character Lincoln Osiris. Fittingly, Downey stayed in character as Osiris throughout the DVD commentary for the film, meaning he talked about the movie as a fictional character being played by another fictional character. To sum it up, those who listen to the track will hear Downey pretending to be an Australian Australian guy pretending to be a black guy, talking about a film within a film. Whoa. What Danny Don't Do Everyone who's seen Machete knows one thing for sure. Machete don't text. What you probably didn't know is that this line came about because star Danny Trejo also doesn't text. Instead, he tried to call director Robert Rodriguez multiple times to discuss some ideas about Machete's character. Rodriguez finally called back and asked why on earth Trejo didn't just text him. Trejo's response was to get in character and growl the since-immortalized line. Rodriguez laughed so hard, he ended up putting it in the film. Liam Neeson has a particular set of skills. Brian Mills, Liam Neeson's character from the Taken franchise, can end a human life with nothing more than a pinpoint accurate slap to the throat. In other words, he's a pretty scary guy. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. So imagine how terrified an unnamed ex-boyfriend of Maggie Grace, who plays Mills' daughter throughout the series, must have been when Neeson, in character as Mills, called him up to threaten to punch his arms off as a joke. Of course. Ha uh ha. -huh. Adam Driver does not need a hug. According to pretty much everyone involved with the production of Star Wars The Force Awakens, Adam Driver spent almost all of his time on the set in character as the sullen Kylo Ren. He was so emo, his co-stars felt compelled to try to cheer him up. Mark Hamill, for instance, offered to take Driver to lunch and repeatedly asked the young actor if he'd like to hang out. Not wanting to break character, Driver turned him down. John Boyega, on the other hand, took a more direct approach, randomly hugging Driver without warning in full costume throughout production. According to Boyega, Driver never once so much as smirked upon being hugged. He'd stand awkwardly until Boyega was done before walking away. Game of Leers Everyone has their favorite Game of Thrones characters, but two characters in particular have sparked fans' imaginations thanks to their hilariously one-sided sexual tension. Bearded wildling Tormund Giant's Bane, played by Christopher Hivyu, and the long-legged sentinel of iron-plated justice Brienne of Tarth, played by Gwendolyn Christie. I want to make babies with her. Think of them. Great big monsters that conquer the world. Christie said that even she was taken aback at the magnitude of intense sexual intention Hivyu brought to the role, something he carried over between takes. He reportedly attempted to woo her by sensually eating a sandwich while maintaining unflinching eye contact in full costume between takes. Which, to be fair, sounds exactly like something Tormund would do. Really kind of making love to that sandwich as he, as he eyeballs Which is a lot of, wow. So strong, eyes like lasers. Mrs. Doubtfire visited an adult shop. 
Mrs. Doubtfire is fondly remembered as one of Robin Williams' most famous roles. But before the film was announced, he decided to see just how well the costume disguised his extremely famous face by visiting an adult shop in San Francisco. Williams walked into the store in full Mrs. Doubtfire gear and started browsing the various items on display, asking an increasingly bemused cashier the most uncomfortable questions he could think of in Doubtfire's wonderful old lady voice. And finally the guy realized it was me and went, Get out of here, Robin, you <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too.